Uh, Tegamek, of course, uh, in 2020, set records for DAS uh, as a DAS qualifier. But uh, I think we'll be rolling tonight. Is that right? Rolling? Will there be rolling happening tonight? I don't know. We'll see. Tegamek. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's right. Tetris Time also made the top eight as well. Uh, Tegamek. Right? Tegamek. Uh, I don't know. Rolling or not. We don't know. Sidnev, of course, who really, of this group, you know, Pixelandy's won already. This is the guy who you think, man, he uh, he should have won one of these by now because over the last few months, he, ha he is cresting, you know? It, it was only like, uh, what, 16 months ago that he had his first max out, which was in CTWC qualifiers, right? I mean, was that what it is, 16 months ago? And now, I mean, he's insane. All right, we got our hover three from both players. Here we are, round one, Classic Tetris Monthly Masters event, Orange Bracket, Tegamek versus Sidnev. Game one, three, two, one, Tetris. I know, people are very disappointed. I, I'm very confused about certain things in Europe. And specifically, uh, any anything like Belgium, the Netherlands, Monaco, uh, any of these like smaller nations and principalities and I'm just I'm just very confused Liechtenstein I'm very confused about all of that stuff I just never have never been I've been to Europe twice uh, and I, d I didn't really do a lot of cultural stuff it was primarily for work it was Dublin and Athens All right, 70,000 here for Tegamek, 28,000 for the Sidnev. The Hollandaise Hyper Tapper. <laughs> yeah, call him Hollandaise. All right, Tetris for Sidnev, 57,000. Sounds a little... A little too, like, FM morning man. Well, there's a Tetris for Zidnev. A little too, a little too crazy. I got to back off a little bit. Listen, I'm rusty, everyone. It's been well over a week. This this match was, uh, this bracket was delayed twice. It was scheduled, and then it was delayed. Tega is rolling. Sidnev tapping on the table. Table tapper. All right, 210 Tegamek, 128 for Sidnev. Tegamek uh, ahead by a few lines there, but Sidnev has more pieces on the board, so it's pretty darn close. Sidnev setting up the delayed Vitz. That is the vertical eye tuck setup. Generally, you'll set that up when you have an eye, uh, well, a long bar in the next box. But sometimes people set it up when they don't have one. Man, there is uh, a widespread, probably incorrect belief that you get uh, bad luck. If you set up a, a delayed vertical eye tuck setup, the Vitz. One ninety for Sidnev, two eighty-two for Tegamek. I can't believe two thousand five hundred and thirty dollars in our Match Reno prize pool. And thank you so much to those of you who have contributed to the prize pool. I mean, that's a huge uh, record-breaking prize pool. I'm I'm shocked by how much is in there right now. And if you, uh, I mean, if you want to pile onto this, and I mean, I, honestly, I don't even want any more money in the prize pool. I'm just like, this is too much. This is nuts. But if you want to disappoint me and, and make me all scared or whatever of the implications of the enormity of this prize pool, then you can contribute to it. Use the Macherino link. 
that is in chat here on Twitch, or if you're on YouTube, go to the uh, video description. If it's still February where you are, then the match arena should still be open. 247 for Sydney, 390 for Tegamek. Yeah, it's too much money. I don't, I don't know. I don't want these, you know, you hear these stories of lottery winners, you know, who just get all this money that ruins their lives. I mean, what's going to happen when we bestow $1,300 on some 14 year old kid, you know? My God. Turn to a life of, of uh, crime and drugs. We don't want to do that. Four sixty for Tegamek through one hundred two. Three forty one for Sidnev. He's got a big pile of lines in column one. He's playing one row off the bottom. He's going aggro with that long bar to set up for the Tetris in column nine. And having to take a triple. And another triple just to bring this stack down a little bit. Tegamek, meanwhile, with the Tetris 506 through 111. Sidnev going to Tetris and get another Tetris. Tetris for Sydney, 555 for Tegamek. So he's going to call a fictitious phone number for televised sitcoms and dramas. 555. 578 Tegamek, 449 Sidnev here on 19. He has transitioned Tegamek with uh, one more Tetris available, and he's going to get it. Bang Tetris. Um, now, Tegamek the Roller, uh, you would think, just in virtue of the rolling technique, that you would have some post-28 playability. I haven't seen too much of Tegamek uh, lately uh, with regards to rolling, so I'm not sure you know, what the capability is there. So, we'll see. We could be in, a shock, in for a shock, you don't know. And of course, Sidnev has shown, just as one of the world's best tappers post-28 playability, so we'll see what Sidnev is able to do, and, and if uh, post-kill screen play becomes a factor. Tetris for Tagamek, 738, longtime CTM moderator in the Discord. The true mods are the Discord mods. <laughs> no offense to break Greg Boom Cannon, who apparently has a Twitch mod. 766 for Tega. 647 for Sidnev. <laughs> Pumpy says they make anyone a Twitch mod. Yeah, it's true. All right, Tega with a little bit of a slowdown here, but we'll get the pieces to burn this away and reestablish a right side well orientation. Sidnev Tetris 708. Just a little under 100,000 points behind. Gonna spin that Z in there. And Tetris. Sidney have set up again. Both players are level 24. Uh, Sidney have now at the 25. Sidney have, can be, you know, five lines ahead at any given time. Oh, that long bar. Okay. Very interesting. Not sure if intentional. I doubt it. That would be weird, but... I don't know. I doubt. I mean, I'm an idiot. Well, intentional or not, it's proving to be uh, some additional work here for Sidnev, slowing down some pace. 791 for him, 935 for Sidnev here on level 26. Six, uh, well, four lines apart now. Tetris for Tagamek, Sidnev into 27. Tegamek with the max out here on 27. Oh my god, Miles the Great doesn't even understand memes. My word. <laughs> A71 for Tegamek. That A stands for 
10 in a way. So now he's got a B. That stands for 11. So 1106060660. So 1.1 million. Sidnev into 29. These placements are not auspicious for his going deep. But oh, that L to the left. And all oh, those pieces to the left. See, you can see that he can do some things here. Oh, no. 922 for Sidnev. Tagamek with the B81. He's going to top out. Sidnev tops out at level 30. Tagamek is good. Was going to top out anyway, anyway with the 1.18. And Tagamek just pops off for almost a 1.2 here in game one. And uh, Sidnev says, seems good. <laughs> so there you go. Well, let's count this down. Three, two, one. Tetris. Here it is. Game two. Oh, let me bring up, uh... Sorry about the typing, everybody. I've confirmed that the raise energy drink does not... For me, now, your mileage may vary, of course, but for me, it does not affect my ketones. It does not knock me out of ketosis. Sometimes things with uh, artificial sweeteners can, uh... Even though they're zero-carb, nevertheless, knock you out of ketosis. So if you are a low carb dieter like Kingsman should be but you know <laughs> uh, then it worked fine for me so check it out use the raise command in our twitch chat here or if you're on YouTube maybe it'll be in the uh, description I don't know I don't know what pumpy's got in there I don't look geometry girl thank you so much for the tier one subscription five months and get your emotes. It's a much better deal now that we have... Oh, yeah, did you notice? If you haven't noticed, we are a Twitch partner now. So you've got a lot more emotes here on Twitch if you are a subscriber. Taking back with a little bit of a slowdown here. 58,000 through 23 lines. Sydney have 75 through 20. People want to know how the keto diet is going. I don't know if YouTube wants to know. They're all business over there at YouTube. They're just like, give me Tetris, and that's it. That's all I want. I don't care about Vandy. I don't care about his life. I don't care about Twitch or anything. Keto, chicken sandwiches, whatever. Just give me the Tetris. So, But it's going well. It's going very well. I don't know, 28 pounds, something like that. Pretty good. A little bit of a slowdown. I kind of, kind of had some food I shouldn't in Waco, and on the way back from Waco, <laughs> but uh, I got it back under control. So it probably set me back about a week, honestly. So I had to sort of recommit and figure things out again, but I should be okay. One seventy-three for Sidnev. One thirty-six for Sidnev. Tetris for Sidnev. No great place for that square for Tegamek, so he's going to have to block the well with it. And this is leading to a uh, series of unfortunate placements. And there's a long bar. That's an important double just to get the stack down a little bit. Needs something oriented correctly for that gap there. He's going for the dirty. If he can get a quick long bar, not coming, so he'll have to take the triple. And he's just going to have to bring this down the old-fashioned way. Singles and doubles. And Sidnev is out to about a 71,000 point lead. That's three and a half Tetrises. And Tegamek still kind of burning here. Setting up some sort of delayed setup here to go for the center well Tetris. Hoping for a quick long bar. And we'll get it. There's a lot of stuff piled high in columns 8 and 9. So you wonder if he'll continue to try to go for... To bring this down with Tetrises rather than take the burns. Uh, doesn't seem exactly to be working though. All right, he's set up for the Tetris. And he's got a big pile of Zs over on the right side. Bang Tetris dirty for uh, Tegamek. 
And he saw he was going to try to go for that Tetris. Saw the square coming, so ended up putting that T-flat to take the burn. Uh, so some nifty adjustments here from Tegamek. Trying to be super efficient, but a lot of times maybe you're better off just kind of taking the burns and bringing it back down. But, but a lot of times you're not. So these guys are in a position to gamble and try things. So why not? 303 Tegamek, 395 for Sidnev. Oh, I didn't give a heart. Yeah, I'm really rusty today, guys. Sorry about that. I'm really rusty. Like, I haven't done this in, I don't know, 11... Over... I don't know, just a long time. I don't even know how long it's been. All right, a couple of... A uh, couple of inconvenient long bars for Tegamek. Throws them in the top of the stack. You don't see that often, but... Certainly the right thing to do. In that circumstance. Tetris uh, for Tegamek. Was that a Tetris? I don't know. Whatever. A lot of lines cleared anyway. 376 Tegamek. Sidnev going to open up the right side and bang. So a little bit of a, uh, I wouldn't say a suffer game for Tegamek. I mean, certainly you'd want to have a higher... Uh, transition score than 400 something. And Tegamek getting up kind of high. There's one long bar. Would like a quick uh, additional long bar here. And unfortunately, he's just kind of still high on the board. There's another long bar into 19 for the rolling Tegamek and another Tetris. 472 for him. Sidnev into level 2609. Yeah, I'm kind of out of my rhythm today. And I feel like normally I have a high degree of confidence in what I'm doing. Tegamek, though, does not, and this is not looking good. Oh, gets the long bar over, though. Forgot the rolling. You can do anything. I mean, this is crazy. And he's bringing the... I feel like he's going to bring this down. I feel very deeply that he's going to bring this down. One of our players here, we'll go ahead and try to refresh them, see. And Tegamek gonna top out 535, Sidnev is good. So Sidnev, you can go ahead and top out. You have tied it up, I promise. I'm not like our good friend, uh, Renz. <laughs> Telling people to top out. Renz. Oh, no, he was fine. All right, we got two hover threes. What was once a best of five is now, in effect, a best of three. Let's go. Game three. Three, two, one. Tetris. Oh, wow, 149 subscribers. That's pretty good. Not the record yet. I forget what our record is. But I think if we get to 225, we get another emote slot. So we've got 17. Is that what we have? 17 emote slots here on Twitch. Man, this is what they do. They try to get you to, you know, sell subs for them. My God. Like, get up there and... And start promoting. You're a partner now. You got to get in there and get all commercial about it. Tegamek loves it. Forty-seven thousand for Tegamek and a Tetris sixty-nine thousand for Sidnev. Tegamek with that long bar in column two. Well, hope to clear this away, and the long bar gets over there this time. Sidnev going to uncover the right side. Long bar, Tetris. All right. Sidnev going to tuck something here, get Tetris ready again. All 
Yeah, I'm feeling I've been away too long. I'm feeling tentative, unsure of myself. Normally, I feel like I come to this whole thing with a lot of confidence. You know, I've been doing it going uh, going on five years or four years or whatever it is. And, you know, I feel like, all right, I got it down. I know what to do. But, yeah, it's a, it's a long time away. Sidnev setting up the vits. There is the long bar. <laughs> Pumpy says, do you want me to call Jeff? PM. Oh, thanks, Siri. I, when I said Sidnev, it said, like, my phone thought I said Siri. All right, Tetris for uh, Tegamek. Game piling squares on him that he can't use. I do have mail, Siri. <laughs> Can you believe that? <laughs> yeah, why do I have mail, Siri? I'm not sure why I have mail, Siri. Long, deep channel there for Sidnev. It would be a Tetris if he can convert it. There, he's going to get the long bar and bank Tetris for Sidnev. You can see a little bit of relief. Wash over Sidnev. And there's a triple. I'm just trying to uncover a little bit of this. He's got about three rows of burning to do, so we can uncover the gap. You can see, I'm trying to avoid putting pieces, but just throws three more rows on top of it. So, turning into a little bit of a dig, he's still got the lead. Tet uh, Tetris for Tegamek, though, back by 50,000. Two and a half Tetrises. And Tega is clean. Oh, there's a good piece for Sidnev, but that T is not. All right, Tega taking advantage of the rolling technique to stash pieces high on the left. And didn't have a good plan for that J piece, so ended up uh, kind of putting it awkwardly. And that T placement, a little problematic, so we'll see how he's going to dig out of this. He's going to have to just fling something over there, and you can see rolling gives you a lot of options. And, uh, man, if I saw this board two years ago, I'd be like, oh my god, this guy's going to top out. But nope, just par for the course for our friends, the rollers. And it looks like Teg is going to be safe here. 344, Sidnev, 425. <laughs> Mr. Brain with the fun facts, the online facts here in chat. Female Siri only gets paid 70 cents for every dollar that male Siri makes. I don't even know how I ended up with male Siri. I don't remember changing it. All right, Sidnev uh, piled up high. Has a good two wide well there. Gets a Tetris. <laughs> Do you call it Sir? All right, I gotta stop talking to Twitch chat. <laughs> My views. Oh, is uh, is Pumpy feeding me online facts in Discord, and I'm not seeing them? He is not. <laughs> All right, both players here into nineteen. Four fifty-four Tegamek, five seventy-six for Sidnev. Sidnev with four rows on top of his well. There's a nice triple. Oh, there you go. And it looks like Tegamek's going to clean out of this. Looks like Sidnev will be clean. Sidnev's clean uh, earlier than Tega is, though. And bank Tetris for Sidnev, 615. You can see Tegamek. Uh, there are a couple pieces there that is a bit tentative. Didn't have good plans for them, but able to to make up for it. Oh, and that T placement, not what he was going for, certainly.
But uh, digging his way out. And there's a dirty Tetris for Te uh, Tegamek. 525. Sidnev now closer to the top of the board. Tetris didn't have 7 11. All right. Sidnev's got kind of a funky right side, so trying to work to get material over there so we can burn it away, and he is clean again. Tega with a couple of rows of garbage over as well. He's going to clear those away. He's ready for a Tetris. Level 24 for both players, Tetris for both. Tega pretty flat here. Tega trying to avoid taking the burns. Maybe playing a little too perfect here. Oh, gets that T tucked under there. And game drowning him. And those couple of times he refused to burn could, uh, to burn, could come back and bite him. And he's going to top out. And there were a couple opportunities he had to take some uh, multi-line burns. Wanted to stay efficient. And, you know, who can blame him? Because he's back so far behind from Tegamek, so uh, from Sidnev, so that makes sense. Uh, he was doing the right thing. He was being aggressive. He was back by over two hundred thousand points. Um, there was a little bit of a line difference, but not too much. So it makes sense that he would get a little risky, bisky, and it just didn't pay off. So there you go, hard for Sidnev. Game three that was, and these players are ready. So here we go, three, two, one, Tetris. But yeah, that's a great emote. <laughs> Miles wants that uh, that emote really bad, but not that bad. Listen, we've got... I can't fit them all there. And you can't put all the good ones... You gotta have some incentive for people to... support us at those higher levels. But very few people want to do that. I think it's because of the amount that... They perceive that Twitch takes out, but now that we're a partner, we got a lot bigger chunk of it, so. Um, yeah, I don't know. The monthly support does help, so we try to put some interesting things there up at Tier 3. Try to entice some people to expand the amount of support. But it's pretty rare you get a Tier 3 supporter. I don't know. Maybe if you're Amaranth or Pokimane or whoever that is. All right, Tetris taking back 58,000, 74,000 for Sidnev. <laughs> Vandy has supported it. Oh, because I didn't, I, I, that's right. I did, uh, didn't I send the Kingsman a, a gift sub? Is that what happened to Amaranth? Oh my God. <laughs> he loves her. Eighty-five thousand for Tegamek, one twenty-three Sidnev. All right, good place for a square. Nice burn, Sidnev, and a Tetris. One sixty-one for the Tegamek. Sidnev with a flat board, a little bit of a parity issue there. Looking for the T to help this a little bit. And getting up a little bit high. Oh, there's a nice couple of pieces there for a bail. Not quite though. Oh, and there's a the long bar. Finally, get up high again. The relief. Washes over the countenance of the young Sidnev. Two thirty to two forty seven. Sidnev in the lead.
and a Tetris. 293 through 72 lines. So we got a medium pace for both players. Some good placements here for Tegamek. Stashing pieces over to the left. You can see he didn't want to take a bur even a double down the right side. He was disgusted by it. He's like, ah. All right, neither player particularly clean right now. You can see there's a gap in Sidnev's stack. He's going to get a dirty, though. Bring the stack way down, 477 through 107. And uh, all of a sudden, Sidnev's pace looking a lot less medium now. Uh, but that's about where Tegamex has stayed. Uh, there's been a lot of burning on his side. Sidney have piled high in columns one and two, and then just kind of tucking around here to build out the rest of his stack. Two rows off the bottom, Tetris, 526 for Sidney. We'll see what he's going to do here as he approaches transition. You'd think he'd want to try to bring this down, and of course, if you can bring it down with Tetrises, that's ideal. Tegamek with a clean stack, a little bit high, but you'd hate a drought. I don't think that piece rotated all the way. And there's going to be a Tetris for Tegamek into 19, 455. Sidnev into 19, 577. A little bit of Monk is over on the right side for the tapper. But, oh, and he's going to stick a piece, Sidnev. There it is, 578. That's a top out, and Tegamek is going to top out as well. Unless he can get a long bar over there. I don't see that he's going to. And two players here topping out on 19. So a golden opportunity. Uh... Uh, wasted here for Tegamek, an early top out from Sidnev on 19, but it's going to be enough. And Sidnev will be moving on to round two. Tegamek will not. Very unlike. You hate that. You hate when your opponent tops out early uh, after transition and you top out too. You hate that. Is there anything worse? I mean, I can think of some things that are worse, but, you know, in this context, very little is worse. Hey, everybody, this is your old pal, Van Dweller, host of Classic Tetris Monthly. If you like this video, hit thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like it, please subscribe and bang that notification bell. And follow us on Twitch at twitch.tv slash monthly Tetris. Thank you, and have a nice day.